Thanks for stopping by Tales from the Creek Bed. If you enjoy the content, please consider liking and subscribing. Your support helps to keep the channel thriving. Remember to comment below and share your horror fandom experiences with us. Did you grow up reading young adult horror? Also, if you're looking for a read, check out my novel, The Horror Club, A Trip to the Video Store. It's a personal journey, available on Amazon.com and Audible. Now let's dive into the show. In 1996, at 12, I was deeply passionate about horror movies, especially those featuring my favorite slasher, Jason Voorhees. However, he had been seemingly defeated and sent to hell three years prior, leaving me longing for more stories about his terrifying escapades. I was relieved when I stumbled upon a limited series of young adult novels inspired by the iconic Friday the 13th film franchise, satisfying my craving for more content related to the movies. After 28 years, I am revisiting each book and sharing my reviews. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jeremy Campbell. I am an author, a director, and a photographer. This is my story, Tales from the Creek Bed. We are now into the third part of the four-part Eric Morse, Camp Crystal Lake book series, The Carnival. As I said in earlier episodes, my initial exposure to these books was when I read Jason's Curse. I am just now going back and reading the rest of the series, including The Carnival. Please check out the previous episodes to hear my thoughts on the rest of the books. Here is the summary for The Carnival. Four teenagers looking for fun and thrills to break up the boredom of summer school get more than they had bargained for when they visit a traveling carnival that has pitched its tents at the old Crystal Lake campgrounds. This very brief description sums up the book. There is not a lot more to it. I got the vibe that the author was hired to deliver four completed books about Camp Crystal Lake and was given very little time. Get a lot written today? Yes. Hey, the weather forecast said it's gonna snow tonight. What do you want me to do about it? Oh, come on, hun. Don't be so grouchy. I'm not being grouchy. I just want to finish my work. Okay, I understand. I'll come back later on with a couple of sandwiches for you and maybe you'll let me read something then. Wendy, <clears throat> let me explain something to you. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. You're distracting me. And it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Understand? The story leans heavily on the notion that the carnival is impacted by its location on the cursed grounds of Camp Crystal Lake. You're going to Camp Blood, ain't you? God damn it, Ralph. Get out of here. Go on, get. Leave people alone. You'll never come back again. Oh, shut up, Ralph. It's got a death curse. The narrative's attempts to create fear predominantly stem from this idea. However, I found the execution of these attempts to be lacking. The book fell flat. Many scenes are set up and go nowhere. The lead character could be more likable. She is mean to everyone she encounters and remorseless about it. Thank you for making that announcement that no one cared about. Now! How come all the pictures on her wall are selfies? Does she not have any friends? Shut up, hobag. Does your vagina still have teeth? No! The answer is no! No, it no longer has teeth, so it used to have teeth, but you got them removed? No, I didn't. So your vagina still has teeth? Some good ideas exist, but like I said earlier, many developed themes are dropped with no explanation or resolution. At best, the book felt like the novelization of a late 80s horror film that was never made. But if this book were the product of a movie that had been made, I would say it had the vibe of something like Prom Night 2. Dad, you know something about this, don't you? Sucker! She took the keys to my Cadillac car. They're playing our song. Hello, Mary Lou. 
prom night too. Ghoulies too. <laughs> Thought it was safe to go back into the bathroom. Ghoulies too. Ah! They'll get you in the end again. Ghoulies too. Phantom of the Mall. Horror. There was a nightmare at the mall. Eric the Phantom struck. Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Or even Death Spa. And I'll kill them all. Unless you do as I say. Exercise in Terror. A low budget, straight to video, or limited theatrical release made on money raised by private investors and released by a company like Empire Pictures or Media Home Entertainment. There would be a closing song named The Carnival and Dangerous Toys would perform it. There would be a music video for the song after the credits as a bonus on the VHS tape. As a kid, I would have been a huge fan of this imaginary movie, but this book falls short as far as Friday the 13th novels go, especially coming off of the previous book, Jason's Curse, which I highly recommend. That is all for this episode of Tales from the Creek Bed. Please return when I review the final novel in the series, Road Trip. This has been Tales from the Creek Bed. I'm Jeremy Campbell, saying don't be scared to be yourself.